Hello everyone, Zabra here, back with another video. Now today, I'm going to be talking about how you can farm money very, very well. So, um, first of all, of course, you're going to need to join Project JoJo. So that's the first step, join Project JoJo. We can just get this step out of the way already, because you probably already joined Project JoJo. So now, we're going to get to the next step. So we're going to erase that from the screen, and now get this here. So now, the second step will be to go to the Reality Work Request and activate it. So, the Reality Work Request is around here, behind the train station, so around this place. You go around here, so I'll just fly there, I guess, or we'll glide, and then um, get over here. Drop to the casino, and at this house right here. Also, right outside the cave, talk to the other guy real quick. So, already, yep, basically. On the next step, third step, right here, we got the third step, which is going to be kill the hyperspace dummy. So, what does that mean? Well, you just gotta kill the hyperspace dummy. Where's the hyperspace dummy? Well, the hyperspace dummy is on top of this cave up here. So, this is a cave, but no, don't go inside of there. Go on top of here, and that's a dummy. Oh, 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 so there's this rainbow. It's a rainbow dummy, yeah. What could it be? It could be the hyperspace dummy. So, now, you just gonna kill the hyperspace dummy. So, first of all, now we're gonna get to the requirements of this quest already. So you're going to need to stand that connection to kill the hyperspace dummy really fast. If you can't, then you won't be getting a whole bunch of money in less than a minute. So, yeah, you're going to need to stand there like Tusk to get to do this. So here's some stands that actually can do it. So Star Platinum Over Heaven, The Ward Over Heaven, Tusk Act 4, or Cream Starter 2 if you're fast enough. But overall, you're going to need to stand that can kill the hyperspace dummy fast enough. And, well, you're going to see other stuff around of why you, you're going to see other stuff why you don't need to wait for this thing to respawn. You're just going to do something else that's going to be the next step. Anyways, now, kill the hyperspace dummy. So, we'll just use the one move, because why not? There we go, it's dead. So, now, we're going to the fourth move. To so the fourth, not fourth move, I'm, I'm used to showcases, I'm sorry. But fourth step, I mean. So, the fourth step is to you finish the quest, kill the hyperspace dummy. This is uh, the quest you did. Then, now you need to rejoin. So, what's the point of rejoining? Well, um... It's good to be doing because the quest cooldown is gone now, and of course the hyperspace dummy is gone, so you know, just gotta wait for it to respawn. Well, no, you can't. Uh, it's, it's rather you can't wait for it to respawn because it's gonna take like a long, long time. So instead of that, you're going to want to join the game. So it's gonna do this in the private server. What you're gonna do is you're going to leave the server, the current server you're in, and then join a new one. So you're gonna see me cut out a little bit in this game real quick. So yeah, we're gonna leave this game. We're gonna rejoin. So here we go. So boom, there we go. We left the game. Now we're rejoining a new game, so we can erase that stuff in the screen now. Um, we'll, see, we'll leave it there a little bit longer, so, yep, like I was saying, rejoin, because you're going to rejoin, and if you don't rejoin, then you're going to be there for a long time waiting for the actual house system to respawn. So rejoin now. So, I'm waiting for you to respawn, okay? Yeah, you rejoined, okay, cool, I'm still rejoining right now. Alright, so, and when you rejoined, um, you got the copyright music thing, bro. But yeah, when you rejoined now, now what you want to do is you just want to go to the house system again, and just keep on doing that thing. So that moves us on to the fifth step, last step. Basically, like the only step that you really need in this whole thing, to be honest. And now, repeat. Watch your money skyrocket. So why is it that your money will skyrocket? Because, um, well, you get 1.2k. So you get this much, really, from doing this quest. So that's really good. It's a really good quest. So you just keep on doing this. And a way that you guys should do this with Tusk is you can get this, shoot like that, and boom. Now you rejoin and beat it like that. So now you just keep on repeating that. And, well, <laughs> didn't work because I didn't kill it, I guess, because I have no stats, but, yeah, just keep on doing the same thing over and over and over and over, and you'll get a whole bunch of money in no time, I mean, I, I would have one shot that thing, but, you know, I don't really have the actual, uh, don't have my stats, so, yeah, also, you probably should get just all your ability and, like, um, potency, not potency, I'm sorry, I mean, your, um, actual, like, power, yeah, power instead, or wh whatever stats you're gonna use, like, like, kids have to dummy with a range move, projectile move, uh, close range, if it's, like, close range, like, punches and stuff like that, Go power. If it's just a normal little hit like Tusk, you know, Tusk moves power. Um, if it's um, something that you're using projectile, then I guess it might be special, but you might want to check the trail for that. But that's all we have for today. That is how you grind money. This is probably one of the best grind methods that you can get out there. I'm just trying to make this a quick video because a lot of grind methods, they're like, okay, oh do all these God. steps. Here's like 11 steps. Look, you could have got this much money. You could have got more money than you would getting the other things, and you do less steps, or well, you might do more steps than some others, but. In, in this case, you're just gonna need a higher stand. So you're gonna need a strong stand to be able to kill the ice dummy fast enough. And um, yeah, um, I recommend not doing the ice dummy quest. That's like probably the worst one that you do. Do the experience's power quest because that actually just works pretty good. And uh, I mean, ice dummy quest works too. I mean, sure that works. If you have tests, you can like hit the middle of the ice dummy dummies and you can kill them all. You know, just keep on doing that quest. But still, ice dummy quest will always reign supreme at this point. Because it gives you 1.2k. As again, I'll say it again. There we go. 1.2k or 1 to 50. Um, so, yep. Yeah, it gives you a lot of money. So, um, until next time.
um, I guess this is gonna be the end of the video. So yeah, like I was saying, until next time, Zyborg out.